Hi everyone, it's Red Hill Eagle, and this is episode 8 of the World of Sport Wrestling series using TEW 2020. And here we go with week 3 of September, and it's Unleashed. The show kicks off with a pub garden segment. This is the uh, Piper Bit, uh, Piper Bit, the Piper Pit type uh, interview segment featuring our pub landlord T Bone, and he's interviewing Colossus, and um, he's asking him what last week was all about. You completely ruined the first episode of uh, Pub Garden, or the first ever segment of Pub Garden. You destroyed the set. You beat people up. Um, Andy Simmons came out and condemned uh, what. what uh, you know what you did and Colossus starts to get angry he starts to look like he's going to destroy the set again Greg Burridge of all people comes in tries to save the day but he is just beaten down like a like a pancake Colossus just knocks him to the ground Greg Burridge is out of it Colossus decides against destroying the set he's just angry now he just storms off um, and the uh, opening segment there gets us a rating of 29 we then have a uh, BT gun against Mark Sloan and in 9 minutes 26, it's Mark Sloan that gets the victory uh, with a cradle DDT. Um, 43, very pleasing result there. Jackie Polo then interviews James Mason. And Mason wants assurances that Aldis will not interfere in his second match against Barry Griffiths. He, uh, Aldis already interfered in the first match, got Mason counted out, which meant Griffiths got the win. Which meant Mason can't get his hands on Nick Aldis. But he wants assurances now that all this will not interfere again. And this interview segment got a rating of 32. Super Z, a new signing from our uh, CEO, Fred Payne, takes on Chris Raybar. I'm probably mispronouncing that name. Rabar, Rabar, Rabar. Um, and it's a Super Z that gets the win in 5 minutes 59 with a pinfall of a Tiger Suplex. 57, what a rating for our debutante here. Great, great score. Um, Messiah Hallberg then opens a uh, news segment. He's on the news desk and he announces that uh, the Unleashed special um, at the end of this month will be known as Lockdown. Um, this isn't a COVID reference. We're only in 2016. COVID isn't even, well, <laughs> it's not even thought of. Uh, it's in no one's mind. Um, we're in 2016 and Lockdown, it's more of a reference to the cage match that will be taking place between our champion, Boris Fedorov, and Doug Williams, uh, rating of 32. So the Unleashed special at the end of the month will be Unleashed Lockdown. Yeston Reese then takes on Johnny Moss. And uh, decent wrestling, but not much heat. Uh, Yeston Reese gets the win against Johnny Moss in 13 minutes 13 by a pinfall of a powerbomb. So number 13, not unlucky here for Reese. Um, but quite unlucky for Johnny Moss. And a rating of 48, another good one there to be pleased with. And post-match, uh, Yeston Reese um, is asking for a title match. Um, he was cheated out of his opportunity at the very start of this series. Um, and he can no longer get his hands on the guy who cheated him, but he thinks that he, you know, he's deserving of some kind of title match. Um, the CEO, Fred Payne, comes out. And he says, I agree, you do deserve a title match. We have a title match booked for Unleashed Lockdown. So you can't have a title match before then. But you will face the winner of that match at the next episode of Unleashed following Unleashed Lockdown. This segment got a 33. CJ Banks then takes on Cyanide. And Cyanide uh, got the victory in 6 minutes 14. By pinfall with a cyanide splash. Rating of 37. Just a match here to get cyanide. A bit more momentum. And he's a guy we definitely want to be pushing as a monster. So 37 here. Not great, but you know, kind of average. And um, just to get cyanide, the win. Jackie Polo then interviews Rampage Brown. And nothing more than a self-promo, really. Uh, I want to get Rampage Brown on the card. I want to try and get everyone used at least sort of two or three times a month. Um, but not everyone is involved in um, storylines at the moment. So just to get them on, I kind of have these interview segments. And Rampage Brown um, just telling the roster what he's all about and how good he is. Um, and it's a rating of 32. 
Uh, Nick Aldis and Barry Griffiths. Um, it's just a taped promo featuring those two. So it's uh, mainly centering around Nick Aldis, um, but he does have his uh, bodyguard featured in the video as well. Um, his bodyguard being Barry Griffiths, of course. And uh, that's 45, so I'm quite pleased with that one, just for a, a small video segment. Jack Chester then takes on Martin Kirby. Uh, it says it was a poor match here, um, but Jack Chester gets the win in 13 minutes 25 by pinfall with a running knee. Um, still getting some road agent issues. We will continue to get those until we get better road agents. Um, but 37, average, you know, would be nice to see Jack Chester get some higher scores, but um, I guess a lot of it is down to who his opponent is, really. Um, but Jack Chester's another guy that I'll be looking, I'll be looking at pushing. Maybe not right to the top, Certainly not straight away, but eventually. Madman Manson then uh, interviews Jack Jester post-match. Um, it's just a self-promo for Jester, really, and just a slight review of the match. I'm kind of uh, trying to do this a little bit. I'm, I'll, uh, again, it's just to kind of like get a bit more exposure for 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 Jester here, but I want Madman Manson to kind of be the guy who, who does the post-match interviews, if you know what I mean. You know, we've got Jackie Polo, who does the kind of interview interviews, and Madman Manson just sort of picks out a match. You know, not maybe not every show, but that's probably the intention eventually. He'll, um, you know, uh, just interview someone after a match. How did you get on? What happened here? What went wrong? What went right? Blah, blah, blah. And 41 isn't, um, isn't too shabby. Mark Haskins then takes on John Hennigan. And uh, in this match, um, well, you can see John Hennigan uh, gets the win. Over Mark Haskins in 18 minutes 55 by pinfall with a Starship Pain. Um, but Katrina Waters did interfere to get the victory. Um, Mark Haskins is kind of blaming his um, his imaginary friend post-match. You know, why didn't you stop Katrina? What were you doing? What were you playing at? Um, but again, despite the slight argument, they kind of, you know, shake hands, make up afterwards. And Mark Haskins are, yeah, okay, I know. Yeah, she can be quite know a difficult customer to deal with you know okay right let's let's just move on but um momentum here for hennigan getting a main event victory rating of 49 we can be pleased with that what's the final score 46 um yeah it's good uh we've had better um but we've had worse as well i think 46 is a really decent result um just got a few storylines that are kind of um developing um some of them slowly coming to an end some of them have uh, had to change and uh, new ones introduced um but we've got more to come as well you know i'm still kind of finding my feet with um this new uh, creative vibe i'm trying to create um but yeah 46 very pleased with this one um so if you've got any comments to make please leave them below and uh i'll see you next uh next episode for week four which will be another unleashed it'll be the show before lockdown um so we'll see what happens with that one please give a like and subscribe if you've enjoyed it and i'll see you all again soon Goodbye.